Hey, YouTube, Sam back at you again. Um, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, guys. You got two days left before the weekend starts for some of, the, for some of you. Um, but I'm going to get right on in. This is a follow-up to the um, police officer assault in Baltimore. And I said I was going to come with a follow-up, so I do have one. And I'm going to get right into it. Police officer indicted charged with assault. A Baltimore police officer has been indicted after being recorded repeatedly punching a man in the street in a street confrontation. Baltimore State Attorney Marilyn Mosby said Tuesday that Arthur Williams has been charged with first and second degree assault, as well as mis misconduct in office. Williams resigned Sunday after a video emerged a day earlier of him repeatedly punching Deshaun McGreer. Both Williams and McGreer are black, Mosby said. First degree assault charge um, alleges. See, they kill me with that alleged. It ain't alleged. He did it. Video proves he did it. I don't understand where they come with that alleged shit when you got it on camera. It's nothing alleged about it. It happened. He did it. Anyway, let's continue. Alleges the officer intended to cause serious physical injury to in the commission of an assault. It won't know alleged. When he punched that man, he was intending to knock his ass clean out and continue to punch that man. That man had a broken jaw. When that man lifted his head up, he had blood all on him, and he was going to continue to punch him. But the damn sorry ass other officer that was with him didn't even attempt to stop. So I don't even know why they got him on administrative duties. So once again, you're not even penalizing him. He's just as wrong because he didn't stop it. He didn't stop it. And honestly, he looked older than the guy who was doing the fighting. So by him being a senior officer or at least senior in age, common sense would have said, hey, man, no, -uh, this ain't how you do it. This ain't how you do it, but you can say what you want to. When they pulled that car up and stopped and got to that man, what had happened? They had an issue like about a month or two before. So that police officer already knew who that man was, and he was like, oh, yeah, that's my target right there. I'm going to keep on. It's just like some, It's just like a bully that finds that, that one little person in school that they can pick on. They're smaller than them. They're very humble. they laid back. They don't make no noise, and they ain't got a lot of friends. So he pick on that one. But he's not going to pick on someone that got a lot of friends or someone his size. They always pick on someone that they think is less than them they without realizing it's gonna come back to haunt them karma comes back real quick when you do wrong i don't mean no harm that guy that the other officer that stood there he's on administrative duties so he's doing desk duty and still getting paid hell no his ass should be at home with no pay the other one resigned guess what you didn't resign quick enough boo boo because it's all on tape you was on duty you was in your uniform and you punched this man, you broke this man's jaw, you put him in the hospital, and God knows what else can happen to him. Because God knows if he has any other health conditions and that triggered anything else he got going on, that's your ass. That's your ass. I mean, it is what it is. You the, Not only is the police department going to get sued, well, or the city is going to get sued, but you're going to get sued civilly. You and the other police officer. So whatever, whatever you got right now, you might as well go on and sell it. Go ahead on and put all that money in a duffel bag and just hand it right on to him right here, right there now. Because that's your ass. That, that That's just your ass. It, it's going to be what it's going to be. And the other guy, you know what? He he should never get a partner. He shouldn't even be on death duty. He should be one of them people that they put in the cell like they did on Barney Five with, with, uh, with the town drunk. Just give him a damn key to let that himself in and out of damn jail so he could just get some rest from all the bullshit. Because every time he go outside, he going to have that damn scarlet letter written right on his ass, C for coward. <laughs> he going to have that big old scarlet letter for C, C for coward. That's, he ain't no cop. The C don't mean cop. The C means C for coward. That's just how it is. That's it. That's all. I mean, y'all go ahead on. Y'all have a good day. But I just want to give y'all a follow-up of, of this right here because, I mean, this stuff has been going on for a number of years. And it's not just in uh, Baltimore. I mean, it's like L.A., New York, D.C., I mean, Chicago, I mean, Detroit, it's all over. Police corruption is all over. And yet, 
they do stuff worse than what some of these gangs be doing. But yet, y'all gonna give them a gun and a badge and give them a legal way to do it. They wrong. Y'all know they wrong. You give them a pass and they go out here and they do the same thing. People, humans are creatures of habit. We don't do stuff one time and then we don't do it no more. If we do it, we like it, we gonna keep doing it because we like it. Trust me, this ain't something that they gonna stop doing. It's just gonna filter over to the next person. A person don't just start out being corrupt. This is something that's taught. This is something that's learned. This is something that's instilled in them. Trust me. You don't start out stealing. You, you don't come out the womb stealing. You don't just pick up and start stealing. That's a learned behavior. You learn that. You learn that. When that stuff get in you and you learn it, nah, man, the only way you stop a person from stealing, either, especially if they're a kid, you tie that ass up when they're little. You do all that stuff when they're little. But anyway, you, you you start knocking them in the throat. And by the time they like six years old, you you, you in the throat. They, they be like, oh, they ain't gonna like that shit. They be like, nah, man, I ain't stealing. And every time they think about stealing, they ain't get close to it. They be like, man, mm -mm, nope. Because see, at one point in time, we could discipline our kids. You know what I'm saying? And I know I'm going off of the subject of this right here, but at one time we could discipline our kids. The neighbors could discipline. People at church could discipline you. They'll pinch your ass or they go and tell your mama or your grandmama or whatever. Now, people don't even want nobody to say nothing to their kids. Then we wonder why the kids ain't got no damn respect for the elders, kids talking back. Um, the damn grandma and the mama going up to the school to try to jump in the teacher's ass when the teacher only trying to do her job, which is teach. The teacher's not there to do a damn babysitting service. They're there to learn, but your child want to get up in there and be disruptive. Guess what? You're going to blame the teacher, you're going to blame the child. But then when the parents come up there acting the ass where you see exactly where the child got it from, so the child is just a lost fucking cause. And then what they do, they start putting the child in classes with other kids that's just as disruptive as them. Which, what, what what does that do to the child? It makes them be even more what they are. Because you got other people that's just like them. Instead of figuring out a way, well, wait a minute, what else can we do to get this child's attention? Because something is not right. But when you got the mama out here doing whatever, and, and saying and doing whatever in front of the child, come on, that mess with the child's psyche. They don't, people, a lot of people... Man, let me tell you something. A lot of these kids are the way they are because of the parents. I don't give a damn what nobody say. A lot of kids are out here doing what they do because the parents doing whatever they want to do, when they want to do it, and how they want to do it in front of their kids. You got five and six-year-old girls. I mean, I hate these videos. It got to the point, I'm, I'm so sick of Facebook right now. No disrespect to Facebook because they done did a, a, a lot of good stuff. But at the same time, it done got to the point now, you see these these young mamas. These young mamas out here got their daughters five and six years old out here damn twerking like it's cute and cussing and, and all this crazy stuff. Talking about getting that money and getting that paper at five and six years old. What they know about that? They ass should be out there doing hopscotch, playing Jack Ross, Mother May I, or shit, doing whatever. Outside, red light, green light, all that shit. But no, y'all got them in here twerking and you're in here doing all kind of stuff in front of your kids, with doing whatever. Man, get out of here. Y'all can miss me with that bullshit. I don't give a damn. Some of y'all young mamas, y'all ain't gonna like it. I give no damn about what you think because y'all know it's true. And then y'all get to school. The kid acting out of school, you want to blame the teacher because the child is fucked up. No, the child is fucked up because of you. So before you run up to that damn school and try to jump in the teacher ass, you got to look at what am I doing in front of my child, the reason my child acting like that. You out here acting a damn plum ass fool with all this cursing, with all this daggone twerking and talking about getting this money and talking about this dude, talking about that dude. Oh, you doing all that in front of these kids and they sucking it all in like a sponge. And they go to school and they act the same way you act and you want to blame the teacher for your child acting the ass. Um, no, no, boo-boo. This starts at home. This starts at home. So I don't give a damn. You can miss me with that. But anyway, th that's all I got. I know I had two subjects in one. But anyway, I'm going to keep on going. But um, that's all I got. Y'all have a good hump day. Enjoy your week. Make the most and the best out of your day. Please enjoy yourself. I mean, have a good time. Live every day as if it's your last.
May your may your tomorrow be better than your present, and may tomorrow be better. I mean, tomorrow gotta be better than what it is today. That's how you gotta look at it. T yesterday is gone. You gotta worry about right now, and you gotta make it better than what you did yesterday. And when tomorrow comes, you gotta do the same thing as rinse and repeat. Make every day better. Peace out.